Julia Child changed the world of culinary arts from 1949 to 2004 by bringing French cuisine to America. French food is a dish that many restaurants use today. She proved an inspired woman to be chefs when mostly men were at the time. She set the mark for cooking shows and cooking channels because she was one of the first to have one, which started the whole trend of cooking shows and cooking channels. Julia Child was born on August 15, 1912 in Pasadena, California. She graduated from Smith College with a history major in 1934. 1941, Julia joined the Office of Strategic Services as a research assistant. She volunteered to go to Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, to work for the OSS. This is where she met Paul Child. From 1948 to 1961, Julia Child lived in France, where she found a passion for food and cooking. This is Julia Child. Bon Paul Child worked for the United States Foreign Service, and he was assigned to Paris, where he introduced Julia to cooking at the oldest restaurant in France, La Crone. Soon after, Julia got really interested in food and cooking, so she started taking lessons at Le Cordon Bleu in Paris. Chef Matt Spugnard taught Julia Child at Le Cordon Bleu, and he didn't judge her and helped as much as he could in a class full of men. Julia met Simone Beck and Louise Berthold at Le Cordon Bleu, and the three banded together to start a cooking school, the School of Three Gourmands. Simone Beck and Louise Berthold wanted to write a cookbook about French cooking for Americans and wanted an American collaborator, which Julia was. Ten years later, after editing and writing, Mastering the Art of French Cooking was finally published in 1961, with many copies sold. Mastering the Art of French Cooking was a bestseller for five straight years and has now become a standard guide in the culinary community. This book inspired many people to stop cooking frozen food and to start cooking with real fresh ingredients and to take their time and cook a home-cooked meal. This interview promoting Mastering the Art of French Cooking on the television show I've Been Reading launched her television career. On the TV show, she cooked an omelet, and the public's response was enthusiastic, generating 27 letters and countless phone calls. Then she was invited to tape her own series of cooking shows called The French Chef on WGBH. This all led to her television success. Another one of her episodes of The French Chef. This shows Julia's humor and bubbly personality on her TV shows that attracted an audience. Julia Child presents the Chicken Sisters. Miss Broiler, Miss Fryer, Miss Roaster, Miss Capernet, Miss Stewart, and old Madam Hen. But we're spotlighting Miss Roaster of the Year, measuring in at 14, 15, 14. We're roasting Miss Chicken today on The French Chef. Another thing that attracted her audience was how calm and how much she didn't care when she made mistakes in the kitchen. This is a very popular episode when Julia flubs her flip trying to make a potato pancake. You just have to have the courage of your convictions, particularly if it's sort of a loose mass like this. Well, that didn't go very well. See, when I flipped it, I didn't, I didn't have the courage to do it the way I should have. But you can always pick it up and if you're alone in the kitchen, who is going to see? But the only way you learn how to flip things is just to flip them. And so that Premiering on WGBH in 1962, the French Chef TV series, like Mastering the Art of French Cooking, succeeded in changing the way Americans related to food. It's teaching them how to cook real home-cooked meals with fresh ingredients and teaching them how to do it the right way. Tablespoon of sugar. This is food again for the yeast to grow on. And a teaspoon and a half of salt. There's one teaspoon, and there is a half teaspoon. And then we want some oil. 
and how much oil to add depends on what kind of flour you use. If you're using the regular white bleached all-purpose flour that comes in a sack, the kind that you usually get, you would want four tablespoons of oil. But I'm using uh, my own special blend of flour, which is uh, one part all-purpose flour and two parts pastry flour, and both of them unbleached. If you have a good grocery store, you can get this kind of flour. And for this mixture of mine, I just want two tablespoons of oil. And the kind of oil you use is a tasteless salad oil. And the object of the oil is just to make, the, to make your dough a little more tender. Leah Jowell was teaching her audience how to cook a croissant the right way and very precisely. His TV shows were influential and she even won an Emmy for it. In 1966, Julia won an Emmy for her TV show, The French Chef. August 13, 2004, Julia Child died, but she left a legacy with her. Child inspired many women, especially Julie Powell. She's cooking. Julia was the face of cooking. It was the first time seeing a woman out of a home kitchen as a professional, being strong and powerful and playful. Julia inspired many women to be chefs, and one of them was Julie Powell. She inspired her because Julie wrote a whole blog called The Julie and Julia Project where she cooked all the recipes in Julia's book, Mastering Art of French Cooking, and wrote about it. The blog later resulted into a book called Julie and Julia, 365 Days, 525 Recipes, One Tiny Apartment Kitchen. It was published in 2005. Later on, a film adaption titled Julie and Julia was released on August 7, 2009. The film was based on Julia Child's autobiography and Julie Powell's book. All of this resulted in Julie Powell being awarded with an honorary diploma from Le Cordon Bleu, the same cooking school from which Julia graduated from in 1951. It also resulted in Julie Powell having two successful books. Julia Child brought French cuisine to America. She taught viewers how to cook French food through her TV shows, The French Chef, and many others. When Julia Child moved to France, she found a passion for French food, so she brought it to America to share with Americans. Julia Child's TV shows set a mark for all the other cooking shows and channels. Today, there are many cooking shows and cooking channels. They would probably not even be here if it weren't for Julia's successful television career. Julia Child's 100th birthday was celebrated where she was remembered by chefs and others for her life and legacy. Not just an inspiration to the at-home chef, she's inspiring restaurants across the country, like here at Washington's Cafe DuPont. She is a little bit special and different because the way she taught us is that we should have fun, we should be easy, and we all should be happy in what we do. A special 100th birthday menu highlights recipes child taught so many others to cook and shared with her own family and friends in this kitchen. So just looking at this room and um, seeing just how homey it is, you really can almost visualize yourself there. Julia Child's legacy still bringing people together with food. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. Julia Child, leader of culinary arts who left an important legacy.